the front door. Welcome to my studio. When you walk into the front door of my studio, you will see artwork everywhere. I've been working for over 40 years in ceramics, and uh, the last 20 years I've spent mostly firing with wood. I fire in a kiln in Fredericksburg, and occasionally at the Eye of the Dog uh, Art Center in San Marcos. So let's just take a little quick run through here. This case has some of the, my cups that are a favorite of mine that I've kept and some small sculptures as well. And of course, everybody has a bulletin board. Here's a picture of my dad when he was a teenager on his pony. It inspires me every day. I'm gonna try and step back and see if I can get this wall for you. And then I'll come back in a little closer I want to show you some wood-fired pieces up close. If we look at these two little sculptures right here, the kitty cat on the left has ash that's melted on the side of his face. And the little owl on the right-hand side has got lots of ash. And he was uh, suspended above the ash bed with three little round pieces of clay keep him from sticking to the ash bed. And that's what's made the little marks on his belly. And I put them there just so, so they would have this funny little ghostly coloration. We call these firing scars. As I move down the wall, you'll see some pieces hanging on the wall. And if I move in closer, you'll see some more examples of the little firing scars and these little individual owls. These were all fired separately and then glued on a little board to make a little totem. Moving to the other end of my studio, the sink for working in the middle. Move forward a bit. You'll see a series of cups, a lot of porcelain cups. You can see where the flames have come in and made the pots have colors. Some places have colors, some places don't. These are some larger sculptures I made this summer in my electric kiln since I didn't have access to firing and wood and I wanted to experiment with electric fired work again. This owl is about 12 inches tall. Back to the work sink, and then next to the sink is my glazing table. You've caught me in the middle of glazing for a firing. Buckets of glaze. There's some little pieces that are getting painted black so that it'll show up uh, on the dark clay body when it becomes brown. Some of my pots of colors that I add here and there. I also do collage work, and you can see the relationship between some of my figures, between the paper and the clay. I bounce back and forth. It's a lot of fun. Back wall, lots of pots, move forward. Here's a special little piece. Sometimes she has electric lights turned on. This is the little singer. She's in a boat. To the left, I have part of my Swizzle Stick Girls series. And this particular series, the ladies went to Paris. And you see the Eiffel Tower is on the back of each one of the cups. They're going to London next time. More art. And here you have bisque ware, which is clay that's been fired one time to harden it so that it can be handled, glazed, and painted without being broken. 
and after I glaze and paint my pieces, I wrap them up and transport them to Fredericksburg or San Marcos to fire them. The white is porcelain and the pink is stoneware, but hidden in that pink clay is a lot of iron and when it gets fired, it becomes dark brown. Quick zip by my French doors that lead out into a garden that I can see from my work table. And then over to my fireplace that I started six or seven years ago, never got finished, but since COVID hit, I've been spending some time on the pink background and filling it in. And I hope to have this completed. It works just fine, not completed, but I would really like to have the thing finished. Right now, I'm working on a firing that's gonna happen this next week, and these little pieces are being wadded with clay balls on the bottom, each piece, so that they won't stick to the surface of the kiln shelves with the ash flying through the firing. And here are a few more things, cups that are being painted. Paints, brushes, glue, bowls of water and slip. It's all good.